Hey guys, this is Alyssa here in all my awkward glory and I, I decided to play off blind and have a let's play so um yeah I really don't actually know very much about off except that you're playing this dude called the batter and there's this guy named Zachary who likes credits when you buy stuff and um some duct tape crossed food person named Sugar but other than that, that's all I know. So, um, yeah, I promised a couple people I was gonna do a let's play, and I'm doing it now. So, let's go. New game. If this text is hard to read, please exit the game and install the font files in the games folder. That was very urgent, but I did that. I'm good. Caution, it is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public, or maybe not. The musical pieces and sound effects of Off, created by Elias Conrad Coldwood, are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Yeah, it would. Unproductive fun time! Oh, okay. Um. Can I delete that? Wait. Can I? Can I backspace? No, I can't. Okay, whatever. I'll just be all capitalized. I just have to make sure I don't spell my name wrong. Is it supposed to be spaced out? Re really? I. Okay. Wait. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Welcome, me. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. Thank you. For more information, find the one called the Judge. Oh. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay. Whee. Oh, no. To interact with the environment, use the spacebar or the enter key. Okay. Whee. I feel like I'm in a bathroom. There cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Okay, I'm gonna lower the toilet sounds because... Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interloc interlocutor. I'm the batter. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? Her name is Alyssa. She can't talk to us. Okay. <laughs> However, she can hear and see everything. Even though you too are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Alyssa. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. <laughs> we rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Okay, are these chests? A luck ticket has been found. Mm. I can't get that chest? No. Okay, fine. <laughs> Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? 
I think so, yes. So, I have been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded fantasies. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given the chance to encounter this moon. I had, in fact, concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exist other zones, and in those territories the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Yes. Purification in progress. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of the coward. I dehort this alternative. But now it is time for the offense. Choose attack, select the batter, then choose attack anew to off me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Okay. No auto for you. The batter. Excellent, dear sportive companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slightness. On occasion, your cast iron will get you a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. <laughs> but let us move on, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right hand side of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. And finally, you have, yet again, the opportunity to flee. But remember, solely the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take the select ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. The luck ticket has been found. Is it objects? That is. Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my dear. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I am, of course, talking about competences. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points or may be in and of themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competent com competences leads to consumption of competence points, CP. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before her being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try right away, choose competence, and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Okay. Wide angle. The judge, an odd appearing for tic tac. 300, uh, uh, no weakness, resistance. Eh, eh, eh. You now know not only all about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle, know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time. The confrontation ends, theoretically, when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health. If you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you'll be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability dealing fat blows to an innocent cast. Be as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. Okay. 
okay anyways we were continuing on our way ah uh, yes to pass through here you need to use your cerebral organ you know the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium i believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Four. Okay. <laughs> Is there a problem, my dear pictorial heroes? I am not your janitor. I cannot do everything for you. Nonetheless, may I dare to suggest you wage activating certain ones of these strange floating blocks more than one time, if required? So come, solve this intriguing puzzle for me, and quickly, if you please. I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. Mm, one, two. Haha, finally! After all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompen recompense makes its entrance to the scene. Aw, oh, that's so cute! Ah, the judge is eating cat food. Crunch nom nom crunch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, it's clear now. A piece of silver flesh has been found. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. Eh. Four, 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 eight. Is that what is that? Okay, is that just a center or is that a C? I think it's a C that means center. Okay, so four, 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 eight. Two eight seven. Four four eight two eight seven. Four 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 eight two eight seven. And center key. Yay! What does that do? Oh, it opens the top here. Hold on, let me. Oh ho ho. We're good, right? We're good. We got everything. Quite peculiar. Oh yeah, guys. If you know, if I miss anything, you should probably tell me, cause yeah, I might not see it later. So yeah, since I don't really. Hey, you disappeared. Oh, there he is. Here is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friends. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones. By the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of its clashing color, define any sensible course of plastic art. Wow, okay. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a view of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out, in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the falling zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Oh, okay. That's all you have to say after all that? Okay. <laughs> the, the judge just got really passionate about it. All you have to say is okay. Okay, battered. Do not worry. I too travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will nearly meet one another, eventually without doubt. Ah, by the way, take this. This object of the curious name will be the key that permits you to enter zone 1. 
Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? Nope. The Rio card has been found. Escape. Okay. Can I talk to you more? Go ahead, I am inviting you to try using the floating cube right behind you. Okay. Health points and confidence points completely restored. Yes, I am going to save my game in block one. Um, okay, I shall return to the nothingness. Or, well, actually, okay, I'm going to stop this one right now, and then I'll start a new one later. Or, a new, a new video at another episode, you know what I mean? Okay. Alright, so that was the intro to off. It was interesting. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching.